Making headlines today, all eyes are on the Georgia runoff elections tomorrow as those two remaining races decide what party has control of the U.S. Senate. We have team coverage for you with our Asia Wilson in Hart County, Georgia, and Skylar Henry in Atlanta. But first, let's break down those races. Republican incumbent David Perdue is trying to keep his seat facing a challenge from Democrat John Ossoff. And Republican Kelly Leffler is running against Democrat Reverend Raphael Warnock. Early voting has taken center stage again. Thousands of people have already cast their votes in this runoff election. 7 News' Asia Wilson joins us live from Hart County with more. Asia. Well, guys, early voting started here on December 14th here in Georgia and ended last Thursday. I'm told that this is the most Hart County has ever seen in voter turnout in a runoff election. It's been all hands on deck as Hart County workers prepare for the biggest runoff election in Georgia. We've had 5,100, 47 advanced voting um, people cast ballots. So we are over 7,000 at this point and we are still accepting absentee ballots. Robin Webb, the Hart County election coordinator, says 18,000 people are eligible to vote in the county, which means 50% of the people have already voted. In fact, 300 to 500 people came out to vote early. Among those who've already cast in their ballots are these first time voters and poll workers. They wanted to be a part of history and contribute in one of Georgia's most contested races. It's just important because what you do makes an impact and we are an important state for voting and you need to be involved in what you're growing up in. Speaking on social media only does a certain amount until you actually act on it yourself. While Georgia has made national headlines with the 2020 presidential election, some say they're a little concerned about one thing. I'm concerned about the fraud that might be going in through the mail-in votes. That's the reason I didn't use a mail-in vote this time. You do see and hear about a lot of fraud and stuff, so it's important that we get good, reliable people in here and know that the system that we're using is not flawed. County election workers say they haven't had major problems with the machines they just received last year, and that's why they're encouraging everyone to vote. I think it's really important for all of us young people to come out and vote because this is who we're going to live with for the next 20, 40, 50 years. It's somebody that we're going to have to have in our office make decisions for us that we can't make. Now, the county says they are anticipating 3,000 additional voters tomorrow. I'm also told 2,000 absentee melon ballots have already been accepted. 1,800 have already been scanned for tabulation. We're live in Hart County, Georgia. Asia Wilson, 7 News. Thank you, Asia. And Hart County election officials say it is important to note that no ballots will be counted until after polls close at 7 p.m. tomorrow.